Logan Paul and KSI's Prime Energy Drinks. I literally have not seen or heard anything about these other than like a few ads that they've put out. Oh, and this guy on TikTok that made rolled ice cream out of Prime Energy. It low key looks pretty good though. We're gonna test all of the flavors. Tropical Punch. Oh, it's clear. Wasn't expecting that. It's good. The fruit punch flavor is not overpowering. It has that little bit of a coconutty taste like actual prime hydration does. We've got 10 calories, 200 milligrams of caffeine, zero sugar. That was better than I thought it was gonna be. Lemon lime. Refreshing, very subtle. First place so far. <laughs> Orange mango. Surprisingly, the mango overpowers the orange. I had my own taste test this morning. Of what one? Mango? That one. Did you like it? Yeah, I made a video. Insert <laughs> Tyler's review here, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, you can really taste the mango. <laughs> I think these two are better though. I think I'm gonna have to put it in third. Next up, strawberry watermelon. They're so like light, you know what I mean? Like some energy drinks are just way too overpowering. Almost like a sparkling water. It has no energy drink taste to it. Really subtle but good. Okay, I like that one better than mango, so. Ooh, I think I like it better than fruit punch too. It gets second place. I feel like this one might be my favorite, blue raspberry, but let's see. Surprisingly, not my favorite blue raspberry drink. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go strawberry, lime, fruit punch, blue raspberry, mango. Final ranking. But overall, eight and a half out of 10 for Prime Energy. I'm about to tell you information that feels illegal to know. This, this, and this. If you notice any similarities between some of these brands, there's a reason. <laughs> they are all developed by a company called Congo Brands. So there's your fun energy drink trivia fact. We've got nine more popular YouTube brands to try. And next up, Brad Mondo. Hairdresser turned YouTuber, known for tutorials and reactions primarily to people cutting and coloring their own hair. So somebody that reacts to this many wild hair colors, their own hair color line has to be Amazing, right? We've tried some of the hair care products before, but I got a lot of requests to try the color. There are a ton of different colors on the website. I got berry and super pink because I'm not entirely sure which one's gonna match me better. It was $25 for eight ounces. Um, I will say it's a tiny bit more expensive than the competing brands of the same size like Arctic Fox or Splat hair color. Whoa, it's like a, oh, it smells good though. It's like a, Paste. Let's see this one. Hmm. Or you know what I might do? I think I'm gonna kind of combine these two pinks and see if I can get it to match my current pink. We're gonna dye this blonde strip here. Does this come with instructions? Apply to dry hair with gloves. Let it sit for 20 minutes. And then rinse it. That's it, okay, here we go. Goop it into my hand or what? Ooh. And then a little bit of pink. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, it's kind of fun. Ooh, no going back now. I feel like I did too much purple. What do we think? Is it even gonna match at all? <laughs> so this is a color depositing cream. So it's considered like a semi-permanent, semi-temporary, somewhere in between there, I don't know. And the frequently asked questions, of course the top one is how long does it last? It will fade. <laughs> Pretty vague answer, but I get it. Like my hair's pretty blonde, so there's a chance it'll stay for a while. And now we just leave it for 20 minutes. Okay, see you soon. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Time to wash it out. It's so creamy. It has like a conditioner texture to it. That is pigmented. I'm really excited to see the color once it's dried. <gasps> oh, my pink's definitely like lighter and brighter but it's pretty close match. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 just because it was so easy to use and I really am very impressed by the color. This is tempting me to just dye my whole head pink. If this video gets 200,000 likes, I'll dye all of my hair pink. Next up, we have Addison Rae. And I know what you're thinking, she's a TikToker. Well, she is, but she has only posted like 10 videos ever on YouTube and already has over 4 million subscribers. So like, she's kind of a YouTuber. Addison Rae has a Barbie. Not just one Barbie, she has three different Barbies. I actually have my own Barbie too. Just kidding. My sister made me this for Christmas. How cute is it though? Here she is. Okay, so this doll is made by Bonkers Toys, which I've 
I've never heard of. It's sold in Walmart. This one was the most expensive. I think it was 19. And then the other two were like 14.99. Good work on getting them to be less expensive. Scan here for a special message from Addison. Let's see what it is. Female entrepreneurship is one of my core values and it's really been a driving force in everything that I do because anything's possible when you put your mind to it. Love you guys. Okay, cute message. All right, let's open her. Honestly, the only YouTubers I've seen review this doll are boys. So let me tell you if this really is a good Barbie or not. It actually kind of looks like Addison. Oh, <gasps> cute. Okay, I'm actually kind of impressed by the quality. I was expecting it to be one of those like cheap, hollow feeling plastics, but it's not bad. I love her little outfit, camera, microphone, ring light, and a tiny phone. I mean, it, she'll probably play her song because she's supposed to sing, right? That's it. Plays dance music, it says. So is it just like copyright free dance music? I don't think that's her song, right? I thought her actual voice would be in the doll, but you know, the music's cute too. I give her an eight out of 10, especially for the price point. Next up, the YouTuber vlogging twin duo, Brooklyn and Bailey. They just came out with their own skincare line called ITK. It's really, really cute. They have a beautiful website that you can't shop. But when you go on the website, it just tells you to go to Walmart and buy all this stuff, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I have to say this stuff is so affordable. I'm very impressed. Affordable to the point that that made me worried about the ingredients that there's like some shady stuff in there, but it doesn't appear that there is. Like the ingredients look pretty legit. So we're gonna try a bunch of it out. Starting with the clay color changing mask. Helps tighten pores. That's what I need. <laughs> it's very creamy. I'm not seeing any color changing yet. Beautiful. And while this is drying, we're gonna try the daily hair, skin, and nail gummies. You take two, there's 60 in here, so a month's worth, vitamin A, C, D, E, and 10,000 MCGs of biotin. Is there actually enough stuff in here to actually make a difference? Healthcare professionals in the comments, please let me know, but taste test. <laughs> Pretty good, they're vegan and no artificial colors, no artificial flavors. Okay, it's been five minutes. The color did not change. <laughs> like the white definitely faded. Did I use too much? Maybe I used too much. Okay, let's take it off and see how my pores look though. <laughs> it's not going off very easily. I think I used too much. Now it's turning pink. What? The water's pink. <laughs> it's coming off pink. So it did change color, just unclear at what point. I swear my pores look a little better. It's gonna need a lot more than a mask to like make them disappear, but that was good. <laughs> we have what has been the latest rage, micro needle blemish patches are the thing. I guess there's little micro needles on it. Is this gonna hurt? Oh. <gasps> I can feel them. Um, I mean, they're so little, it doesn't hurt, but you can feel them a little bit for sure. Wow, okay. So it has the little needles to like break through that top layer of skin and then it has salic acid, niacinamide, and aloe vera. We'll see in about eight hours how it looks. I do like how it just like blends in. Okay, it looks a little bit better, like nothing crazy, but. Hi, it's editing and temporarily short-haired Hope here. I just wanted to say, I absolutely love doing these videos. I've been doing these types of videos for like two years. I think this is like four or five. And I get so excited every time, even though a lot of these YouTubers probably don't even know who I am. I feel like a proud sibling. <laughs> it's just so cool to see fellow YouTubers making these cool products. So I hope that you enjoy these videos as much as I do. For our next YouTuber product, I'm gonna take you back to a time of whipped coffee, Tiger King, and get abs in five minutes with Chloe Ting, our fitness queen. <laughs> um, One of you let me know that she came out with activewear. I don't know how I missed this, but this along with a whole bunch of really cute like at-home workout gear is for sale at Walmart. And it's so affordable. This might be the literal cheapest activewear I've ever seen other than like five below. The only like Chloe Ting branding is that she has her little signature on everything, but it's all really cute. And I'm interested to see how good it is at these price points. Okay, starting with this unbelievably affordable seamless model set. For how cheap it is, it actually feels really good. I'm not talking like, alphalete level of seamless quality, but definitely as good, if not better, than a lot of the stuff you can find on like Amazon. The reveal. This is pretty cute. Okay, it's higher waisted than I thought it would be. They're a little bit short on me, but I am on the taller side. There is no like cheek separation of any sort. I know some people don't love that. For how cheap this set was, it's pretty good. The top is not the most supportive thing ever. How see-through are they? There. 
pretty bad. Pretty oh no! I mean, there's definitely been worse leggings. I feel like this set overall is like a seven for me. I got one more pair of bottoms. Look at this. They have a scrunch on the back. It's not the best quality, but it is there. I appreciate the effort. These are not bad. Shorts are like a six and a half out of 10 for me. Next up, we have Pizza Fi by Arak. The guy just really likes pizza, and I guess he decided that we need a liquid form of it. <laughs> Let's try it. It has like a hot sauce consistency. Oh, wow. It's like marinara sauce, but with a tang, the balsamic vinegar, that's what it is. And dried garlic. <laughs> okay. Yep, it literally made it taste like pizza. Exactly as advertised, 10 out of 10. Mariah Elizabeth, a professional squishy painter and an absolute little ray of sunshine. She finally came out with her own little paint set. We've got the acrylics, the brushes. I will say it's like $35, which is definitely a little bit more expensive than a similar paint kit you could get on Amazon. But everything is like so custom and cute and specific to her brand. All right, I'm so excited for this one. Oh my goodness. Goodness. <gasps> this is precious. I love that she put all of her little characters on the paints. There's no like black and white though, which is interesting. It's all these pastel y colors. What the heck are these? Why is there so many of these? I'm confused. I feel like I should know what these are, but I don't. I don't know. Comment below if you know what these are for. <laughs> all right, we are going to do a project with these. Okay, here it is. So you just like put splotches of paint all over the canvas. You take this squeegee and you drag it. I'm so excited and I'm so interested to see how something of this technique will look with these just pastel colors. All right, I'm just going to dollop these on. This is scary to only have one try. Okay, I think that's my finished art. Ah, I hope I used enough paint. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh, you know, I could have done better. <laughs> But the colors are so pretty. It reminds me of ice cream. This is a good little paint set. I would say everything is pretty high quality. It's maybe not the best like first ever starter paint set because I feel like it's a very specific color palette, but as a fun little colorful addition, especially if you're a Mariah fan, I feel like it is a 10 out of 10 product. I've been waiting like a year for this one. David Dobrik's dough brick pizza. That's so clever. Whether you love him or hate him, you gotta admit the branding's clever. So this opened a couple months ago on Sunset Boulevard. That's a big deal. That is like prime Beverly Hills real estate. It's actually just right up the street from the Selling Sunset office. And we're going. Here we are at Dobrik's Pizza. It's actually a lot smaller of a restaurant than I was expecting. Like you go into the actual restaurant to just place your order and then they have a little seating area outside. They have about eight different flavors of pizza. They're kind of expensive to be honest. Six bucks a slice. Okay, we ordered one of every slice of pizza that they had. They give us these little coins. Apparently they do something. They're pizza party coins. You put it in the slot, you get a pizza party. What? <laughs> Here's our pizza. <gasps> wow. We've heard incredible reviews of the Chicago, so I think we're gonna start with that. <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm not a food reviewer, okay? Look how thick this pizza is. And no wasted real estate either. We've got ingredients all the way to the top of the pizza. <laughs> Wow, possibly the best I've ever had. Really? Yes, like it's the perfect combination of doughy and flaky and buttery. What is this one, is it? I think this is the spicy vodka. I'm so interested to see how this one is, okay. Oh my gosh, this one's amazing. Not my favorite, but if you're into vegetarian pizzas, it's good. Hot honey pepperoni. I think this is like their signature pizza. The combination nobody ever knew they needed. Let's try it. Life changing. <laughs> Might be my favorite pizza ever. They also have ice cream. We got the blue cloud fruity pebble thing. I give the ice cream like an eight out of 10. And guess what else I brought? Pizza Fi, but mini, because I don't think they would allow the full size bottle on the airplane. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Ah, <laughs> no! You're gonna do this it. This was your idea. We're putting it to the test. You! <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cereal milk ice cream does not pay to buy. Okay, our next YouTuber is Cassie Ho, AKA Blog Lotties. Listen, I know I've done this one before, but you keep asking for it. <laughs> I got a bunch of new things to try. So this stuff is available online and at Target. It has a pretty good size range, extra small to 3XL. One video that I've been getting tagged in a ton is this one. It's time to elevate the basic crew neck sweatshirt and add some drama. It's giving boring, it's giving bland. So I wanted to create something that can make me feel beautiful and feminine, but also still be super comfy. And widen the neckline so you can get this over your face without getting your makeup on it. <laughs> okay, no, that's actually a problem that I have every single day. Get the makeup all over the neckline. I love this already. I'm really excited for this. <laughs> I'm nervous it's gonna be kind of short is the only thing. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> Those armholes though. Oh, it has a good length to it. All right, Cassie, you really outdid yourself with this one. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I liked it so much that I got two more colors. I also emailed PopFlex and I said, please, 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 would you maybe wanna give me a discount code that I can share with the hopefuls? Because this stuff is kinda pricey. And they said yes! I also got one of the cocoon coats because I really, really liked that Sherpa fabric. So for a limited time, you can use code HOPESCOPE and that will get you a discount off of your entire PopFlex order. Okay, here's another one of the TikToks that I keep getting tagged in from you guys. I hate when bra cups get all twisted in the wash and it is so you that have been with me for a while know how I feel about cup pads I hate them, but nobody has really come out with a solution yet Let's see if blog Lotties can do it And so I took out the removable cups and closed that hole inside is space or fabric that is cushioned and stretchy So it's very comfortable just molds to your body Okay, this looks so good and it actually looks kind of similar to the Gymshark Whitney tops that just came out I actually have a whole review of that over on my second channel if you want to check that out after this. Oh, it already feels so good. Okay. <gasps> this is so cute. Are you kidding me? All right. I already need this in every color I can tell. It's so comfy. It's so flattering. Definitely not as supportive as I thought it would be, but yeah, for some reason I thought that this line here was gonna be like a wire or something, but it's just basically a seam. And then we've got the double lined. Love the mesh, that is so cute. 10 out of 10, for sure. <laughs> okay, I've been seeing their Sherpa stuff everywhere, so I have to try this one. This feels amazing. My only beef with Sherpa is it's kind of hard to like maintain you know. Okay, kind of a similar silhouette to the, the crew, how it has the bigger arms, one big pocket in the front, hood. It's like wearing a literal blanket. This is amazing. <laughs> All right, we gotta try the dress. I have tried a pop like skirt before, but I haven't tried a dress yet, so we're gonna see how it is. <sighs> This is so nice and the color is so cute. Top, unbelievably comfy. This one does have cup pads in it and like a shelf. So I would say it's medium support. There is shorts with pockets underneath too. It literally has everything you possibly need. Like a whole outfit in one piece. <laughs> 10 out of 10 on everything. <laughs> Next up, we have Mr. Beast, who needs no introduction. We've actually reviewed two of his other products in this little series previously on the channel. Today, we are going to try the new cookies that he came out with. <clears throat> Tyler, do you have an explanation for this? No. <laughs> I thought I was only ordering like three bags, but I ordered three boxes. You sure did. Let's test them. I feel like gluten-free stuff is never that good, but we'll see. Um, it's not the best looking cookie I've ever seen. Let's compare it to the cookie that we all know and love. Chips Ahoy. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the Chips Ahoy looks a bit more appetizing, <laughs> but looks aren't everything. We're gonna see how it tastes. I am pleasantly surprised. For being a gluten-free cookie, this is really good. But do you want another one? Yes. <sighs> I will say I personally prefer crunchy cookies. Let me know if you're team crunchy cookie or soft cookie. I think it's as good as a soft Chips Ahoy cookie. And it's like richer. Like you taste the ingredients in this cookie, whereas this now it just tastes like a graham cracker, honestly. <laughs> Let's compare. The ingredients and nutritional value are actually pretty similar. The main difference with the Mr. Beast is probably the gluten-free and then more natural ingredients, of course. Okay, I'm gonna give the Mr. Beast cookie a nine out of 10. <laughs> okay, I got a whole bunch of these products to give away to one of you. We have a $100 Walmart gift card, $100 to PopFlex, my favorite Brad Mondo hair oil, an ITK skincare set, Mr. Beast cookies, and Prime drinks. If you want to enter to win this basket, go to my most recent
recent IG post and let me know which item you're the most excited for to enter. Make sure to binge watch all of the other YouTuber products videos if you haven't yet. Enjoy the next video!